It's intimate moments between a mother and child, but it's not always the easiest thing to do, and sometimes it can become very depressing for new moms who just can't seem to make it work. Joining us this morning is Jessica Aiken of the La Leche League of Youngstown to tell us what there is that there is help out there for those moms that are experiencing some trouble. Good morning. Good morning. Well, tell us uh, about this because uh, I, my wife uh, wanted to breastfeed her, our son, mm -hmm. uh, but he just never latched on it. And it, it did create a lot of uh, depression for her because she really wanted to do it. Oh, I guess, sure. what, do you, what do you tell moms out there that are in similar circumstances? Uh, a lot of moms really look forward to that time, the time of bonding with their baby, so it can be a real, a real uh, a disappointment when it doesn't work out and mm -hmm. um, one of the first things you always want to check is to make sure that um, the baby has a good latch mm -hmm. um, the and that involves making sure that the baby's opening its mouth really really wide mm -hmm. we often tell moms look at look to see that the baby's opening like a yawn like okay at the really really wide and um, you want to make sure that the baby is taking enough of the breast tissue into its mouth in mm -hmm. order to uh, to get to get that good latch um, that's that's one of the that's one of the first things that we always suggest uh, a mother check. Do they know why some babies do latch on easier than others, or, or is it just uh, personality, oh, I guess, for, for babies even that young? It really does. It re the, the causes, um, you, you can never, I, it's hard to be sure of the, of the cause, but a baby um, who's, some babies are just born real sleepy, um, mm -hmm. sometimes um, as possibly medication that the mother has in her system um, mm -hmm. at birth might, might cause problems, may make the baby sleepier and uh, um, just, uh, and it's a new thing for the baby. It's new, th for if it's a first time mom, it's, it's a new thing for the mom and then it's the baby's never done it before mm -hmm. too. So it's a learning process for both of them. It doesn't, it isn't just come as naturally as, as you would suspect. And, and the, le 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 leche, I keep mm -hmm pronouncing it wrong, but uh, you guys have um, a support group for women who have this, uh, who have problems with this, and, mm -hmm. and they're able to come and, and meet other women and, and get help and stuff like that. Is that right? Absolutely, yeah. The um, women can, can come to our meetings, and it's oh, the meetings are only open to to um, pregnant women, mothers, and, you know, women and children. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a safe um, environment for them to be in to learn. If they're having problems, we can help them. If they're comfortable with that, they can talk to other moms who've maybe had similar problems or just be encouraged. Mm -hmm. And you guys have a meeting tonight, uh, and there's one every Thursday. Third Thursday. Uh, third Thursday, and uh, tonight's meeting is at the Boardman Library from 6.30 to 8 p.m. And if you also, if you need more information, you can go to www.llohio.org. That's, That's right. uh, your website as well, is that right? Right, they can find if they're, if, um, they can find my information there and other leaders in the area. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're gonna stick around because we're gonna talk to you about the benefits of, of breast milk. Okay. Coming up in our next hour. Awesome. All right, thank you, Jessica. And coming up, thank you, Rich. Well, there are definitely benefits to breastfeeding, but pain and other problems make many women shy away from it. I'm joined now by Jessica Aiken. She's with the La Leche League of Youngstown with some advice for successful breastfeeding. And good morning. How good are morning. you? I'm good. Yeah, well, tell us uh, about the benefits of breastfeeding first off. What are some of the, the things that women may not know? Um, well, there's there's to to begin with breastfeeding you mentioned pain and mm -hmm. and breastfeeding should not be painful if uh, if a woman is experiencing pain then she she should call somebody from the late league or a lactation consultant because that's not that shouldn't be happening they may not be doing it right 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 <laughs> they might be having problems and um so that, and it, sh it should be comfortable um mm -hmm. but another thing is uh uh, the the antibodies everybody knows about the antibodies mm -hmm. and, and the benefits to the baby but a lot of people don't know so much about the benefits to the mom mm -hmm. um, research from um, early last year shows as I'm really excited about this that the breastfeeding actually reduces the risk of heart disease in women wow. we've, we've known for a while about you know a very re the reduction in uh, rates of ovarian and breast cancer mm -hmm. um, but heart disease now ch we're showing that that um, it can uh, it can reduce a, a woman's chances of, of getting something like that Wow and it's also good uh, because the, the baby keeps getting for the baby itself because the baby keeps getting uh, everything from mom mom's nutrients and everything mm -hmm. through the bre breast milk is that right right yeah the, uh, as long as the baby's nursing um, they're getting really really great um, uh, they're getting nutrition, the, the great nutrition from breast milk, which which never never decreases, mm -hmm. um, and they're also getting the continuing to get the antibodies from mom, which will protect them from different from uh, ear infections and colds and flus and all sorts of things. It doesn't mean they won't ever get sick. Mm -hmm. but. Uh, now tell us a little bit about uh, we were talking last hour about. Um, you know, for some women, they, they for some reason or, or another, it just doesn't work out for them. Mm -hmm. um, what are some tips to, to make sure that a baby is latching properly 
for a woman? Um, you really want to make sure that the baby is opening its mouth wide enough mm -hmm. um, and, and that the, they're getting enough, enough tissue, enough of the breast tissue in their mouth. The uh, baby doesn't, doesn't um, nurse from its mother the same way it does from a bottle. Mm -hmm. um, so even though it might look, it, you just want to make sure, you want to make sure too that the baby, you see that the baby's swallowing, you watch its jaw, make mm -hmm. sure it's swallowing. Um, I'm kind of all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's all right. Oh, but, but you guys uh, uh, do handle these kinds of uh, questions all the time at oh, your yeah. meetings and stuff. And you actually have a meeting tonight mm -hmm. and uh, every third Thursday of the month. Is mm -hmm. that right? Yes. And uh, again, tonight's meeting is uh, in Boardman at the library there on uh, Glenwood uh, from 630 to 8 o'clock. And also, if you need more information on the La Leche League, just go to their website, www.llohio.org. And Jessica, we appreciate you coming in this morning and uh, giving us some tips. Thank you. Thank you. And.